Good morning all, it's time for a post bag. Let's open this one which says So Shine Life Po 4. So it's rechargeable batteries, I think. Well, this is truly bizarre because we seem to have three bizarre looking remote controllers here. Um, a box for storing AA size cells and a couple of flat boxes which are marked so shine uh, AA 14500 rechargeable battery LifePo 4 703.2 volts I've got a funny feeling that these remotes are a way of getting around the sort of postage restrictions on lithium cells there it's okay if they're in something well they're kind of in something so I guess we need to open these up so here's the contents of the first remote control. So they are so shine. They're 700 milliamp hour uh, LifePo 4 3.2 volt rechargeables. Now this kit, I believe, was meant to be uh, four of these and two dummy cells, which are just um, have a dead short inside, so that you can pad out something which is designed to take uh, AA nickel metal hydrides. And with the 3.2 volts, have that span two uh, cell compartments, which means that they would be effectively 1.6 volts each. So I'm expecting one of these remotes to contain two cells. Um, this one feels rather light actually, so maybe this one has the dummy cells in it. Let's open that up. And these remotes are, oh, they're a bit stuck. They're quite intriguing in their own right. So, oh, these are very light. So I've got a feeling these are the dummy cells. AA sized AA battery connector placeholder yeah they're extremely light those are the dummy cells so it looks like I've got what I ordered but now I'm rather intrigued about this remote control there is actually a circuit board in here but it doesn't quite reach the edges of the um yeah it's it's all carbonated it's got the carbon pads on it there's no chip on here though so it can't possibly transmit is there a placeholder for a chip Possibly down the bottom, but it looks like um, these remotes have just been snapped off at the bottom. <laughs> They're really fascinating, and these do look like proper carbonated uh, buttons. What an interesting way of shipping batteries. Yeah, that's interesting. Here it says uh, LIFEPO, or L-I-F-E-P-O-4, and then further around it just says F-E-P-O-4. Interesting. Are these genuine so shines, do we think? So, I've got all my cells. Uh, I've got some remote controllers, which I don't want. I suppose I could keep the little infrared uh, LEDs. Why have they snapped off the bottom? Because that would have been where the chip was. That's where the clever bit was. I don't need these cases. They're all in Chinese anyway, so they're not uh, really much use for anything. Yes, what an interesting selection of bits. Right, it's time to try the uh, LifePo 4s in the thermal imaging camera because that's where I was having the original problem. AA nickel metal hydride simply wouldn't give enough voltage for this thing to keep going and it said low power and switched off. So now what I need to do is put in a 3.2 volt LifePo 4 and a dummy cell so that I've got 3.2 volts there and 3.2 volts there. Switch it on see what happens. Right let's put the last of the LifePo 4 cells in. They're quite tight but this always was a bit tight I think. Right, let's switch it on. On it comes. Let's boot it up and see what it makes of this voltage. Oh, look at that. Absolutely full battery. No hint of any low battery problems. Yes, that's the solution. Now, someone did suggest this to me, and I'm very grateful for the suggestion. I kind of bought these for two reasons. I wanted to test the um, ISDT 24 slot charger with LifePo 4s. But they do work very well if you're having voltage problems on your 4AA device. And uh, just to check that it's doing sort of genuine thermally stuff. Oh yeah, there's my hot hand. Yes, I've never seen the battery symbol on this thermal imaging camera um, completely full like that before. So this is definitely the solution to use uh, LifePo 4s and these dummy cells in a mm, 6.4 volt arrangement. So here's the item on eBay. New four pieces so shine 14500 or AA size 3.2 volts 700 
milliamp hour rechargeable LifePo 4 battery and two connect. And the image here shows it all nicely packaged with the four cells and the two little connector pieces. Uh, that's not how you receive it. You receive it with bits of remote control and it's all rather strange. But uh, yeah, I certainly seem to have been sent what I ordered. Uh, $10.99 plus $3 shipping. And this is from X Manxman. X Manxman, is that someone who used to live on the Isle of Man and who has since moved to China to seek his fortune? I don't know. 999. And as for these boxes, I don't quite understand because that one's thicker than that one. So does that one fit inside that one and then that goes in there? But then, yeah, kind of, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, quite nice boxes. All right, then. Next, we have this one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's well sealed. I'll open that off camera. Yes, it's a bag of 20 RCA phono sockets, or as Techmoan calls them, phonos so yes i've always known these as phono connectors um but they appear to be known by their probably the manufacturer or original designer rca um yes these are quite minimalist in fact i think i need to bring the camera down for these uh just two connections there in line when this thing finally decides to focus there it is yeah they are quite minimalist now i've got um a phono plug in fact it's two plugs stuck onto one thing so that fits in oh that's quite a tight fit that goes in there and just sort of sandwiches itself up inside this blade there and then this tang or whatever you might call it is attached to the outside bit yeah i mean it's relatively simple and i wanted uh, some simple phonos which would be pcb mounting now this is going to be very interesting from a pcb point of view because let's get my pen i am going to have to oh yes it's got that little thing on the end i'm going to have to have a slotted hole in the pcb because that's like a blade so i've never done a slotted hole before on pcb so that's going to be quite fun to try now i've got this idea and i've got a video coming up uh, soon showing it of not designing a PCB pad arrangement for this actually on my PCB but on a little daughter board which sits up above the PCB and the reason for that is because these things you get on eBay and then you go back six months later and you can't find the exact same socket and they've changed the pin arrangement because I've seen another phono where I think it's the grounding pins there are two of them and they're sat on the outside so it's got like three pins so Every time you buy these things, they're probably going to have a slightly different footprint. <laughs> also, I'm going to have to cut two holes in the board, aren't I, for these little square pegs to sit in. I think I'll go for round holes, not square holes. But yeah, so this will sit on a little daughter board. It's not going to be very big, is it? That's going to test JLC to the limit, see uh, what's, how small a PCB I can get made. And then that will sit on a standardised pad. And I'm going for eight pin dual in line because that seems pretty standard to me. So the daughter board will adapt this footprint to 8-pin dual in line, which will obviously have to sit either side there. And then that will sit on my PCB. So I can design my PCB with 8-pin dual in line um, pinouts. And then these with their daughter boards will just drop in. And when these change, which they inevitably will, no problem. Right, let's take a look at these uh, PCB mounting sockets on eBay. And it's quite entertaining because the photograph of these is truly awful. Overexposed, you might say. So here they are. And here's this wonderful picture. Look at that. It is rather overexposed, although I suppose you can just about make out the pin arrangement. But there's no way you can estimate the size from this. So I had to wait until they came in before I could design my PCB. So 20 um pieces pcb mount single rca otherwise known as phono female outlet jack connector rca white seven dollars 94 free shipping and these came from cobalt electronics who i've don't think i've ever bought from before and uh, if you search for rca in cobalt electronics listings they do all sorts of other things like these blocks of four phonos these blocks of six individual panel mounts um, they've also got red ones, which are the same as the white 
PCB ones. They're a little bit more expensive. I don't quite know why. Various phono connectors, blocks of six there. And then further down, they've got um, these sort of plastic groups of three, which are clearly for video equipment, um, left, right, and composite video on one sort of yellow plastic block. I did think of using these because I want several phonos racked up side by side, but I think the footprint for these, for the PCB, would be terribly complicated. So yeah, lots of measuring to do of these and some little PCBs to make up with slotted holes. That's going to be fun. Right, shall we have a little news break? And uh, yes, today's news is that the uh, low-tech recharging solution for this remote battery installation is working really well. Because you can see from the um, multimeter there that the battery's voltage is now up to 12.9 volts. It's probably... Um, 13.5 on the other side on the other big battery which is on the other side of the house there's no sun today but um, yeah this battery is obviously now completely fully charged again so I'm very happy about that this wire which runs around the garden there um, is a high resistance I worked out that it was 9 ohms per conductor and that is because this wire has a CCA conductor so thanks to everyone who pointed that out CCA of course means copper coated aluminium so it's not copper wire it's aluminium wire which is why its resistance is so high but this uh, little PIR light is working remarkably well of course it doesn't come on now because um, it's daylight but I can override that by blocking the light from the sensor yes there it is so this all works rather well so the next test will be to see and of course the voltage drops when that light comes on because it's 10 watts or so uh, will be to see whether this system works with a supercapacitor instead of a battery. Uh, now that the light has gone off after about 20 seconds, let's see how quickly this climbs back up. Well, quite slowly, really. That pulled the battery down to about 12.5 volts, but that will recover gradually, being charged over those high resistance cables from the other battery pleased it all works well should we have one more uh not quite sure what this is it says spring clamp terminal whatever that is and i can't really feel it and i can't shine a light through it oh it's those things yes they're handy and in fact i've got a feeling let's chuck that out that uh, someone was asking about where do you get these things little uh springy well let's take them out of the bag and have a closer look so here's how it works. It's just plastic moulding with these sort of springy tops. I'm not getting a very good exposure on Ah, oh, focus has at least come in. And that pushes down on a sort of spring metal bladey thing. So if you've got a piece of wire, okay, I haven't stripped it back, so this isn't quite how it would work, but you push that down, that slides through the hole, and it grips it rather well. And of course you've got four of these, so you can connect uh, two wires to two other wires. Uh, how do I generally use these? Well, I've used this quite a lot for this sort of thing, five volt uh, battery pack. I've put some rather fat wires on it this end, which won't go into breadboard, but will go into this connector. Uh, actually, this was for the noise generator board the other day. So I've just plugged in a, a JST two pin into the other side. Yeah, I mean, they're just very handy. For this sort of thing press the little button poke the wire and it grips it nice and tight let's take a look at these on ebay if i can find them well the listing still exists here they are 20 pieces hka tops i have no idea if that's a name ch2 uh what two channel is it fix spring clap the terrible description this is Push type terminal block cable wire connector. Wouldn't uh, surprise me if you simply can't find this by doing a search. But there it is. Uh, $1.82 for 20 pieces, which seems quite reasonable. This listing's still here, although it says that the seller cancelled it because the item was lost or broken. Very odd. Free shipping. This came from World One 2012. And so these are today's post bag items. The SoShine LifePo 4 AA sized cells uh, some of which are in the thermal imaging camera with the little uh, connectors that don't provide any additional voltage you know what i mean the little spring clamp terminals and the rca 
Phonos. Now, I want to say a big thanks to uh, my sponsor, JLC PCB. I've got some PCBs uh, arrived. Oh, should we have a sneak peek at those? Here's a sneak peek at the PCBs. Okay, more of that in the next video. Uh, big thanks also to Patreon supporters. Thanks to all my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to be a Patreon supporter, you can click this link here. Another couple of videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, well, you can click this link here. Cheerio.